Ultimate Team. There's been a lot of talk leading up to this matchup, and it's finally here. But can it live up to all the hype? Ready to get it started here, Riley Patterson. And here we go. We're underway in Madden Ultimate Team. Reed going to bring it out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. So here come the Patriots to take over on offense. They'll be led out by their highly decorated quarterback, Aaron Rodgers. I remember watching him in college and seeing a guy that you knew had great potential, but I don't know that anyone knew that we would see how he would blossom as an NFL player who will go down as one of the all-time great quarterbacks. Can make every throw from every angle with terrific mobility, and he knows how to win games, always in contention for a championship. Right to the air as Rodgers finds the open target, Arnold. And he'll be out right at the 35. A good start offensively. 15 yards on the game's initial play. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one. And that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. Now that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. To throw is Rodgers. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. The defender certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There's a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage, and that throw had no shot. Throwing is Rodgers on third down. And a throw there going to be incomplete. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. And here's Hoff Richter now, the punter, as he sends this one away. Thirteen yards, the tally on the return there. And the Lions will take over. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. Leading them out will be the three-time Super Bowl champion, the MVP of Super Bowl 29, the dynamic Steve Young. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. He's got room at the 30. Touchdown, Detroit! Tyreek Hill, 58 yards. And the Lions put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. The Charles here in their opening series, they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players. That looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved. Yeah, let's face it, Brandon. A player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend, and we saw it right there. They tried to deny an open lane to him. He still outplayed the coverage and scored the early touchdown. Good luck trying to figure out how to defend him as this game moves on. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. And Patterson back out there to send this one away. Reed going to bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off of the end zone. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he'll get this just across the 25-yard line. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. On play action, it's Rodgers. 
had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. Here's Rodgers to throw. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Hunter Sterling Hoffrichter out now on fourth down. Here's Hill on the return. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And they will take over first and 10. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. This could end up being a pretty big drive. I mean, look, yes, it's early in this game, but they scored the touchdown, they got the stop, and now if they could get in the end zone here again, CD, they could grab an early stranglehold on this one. Yeah, they certainly can, and that's what you're looking for. Where's the advantage? Can you gain it? Can you press it? Now for them, finishing it off, because right now it's out there for them. They've just got to go seize it. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The Lions with the football here to begin the second quarter as they're looking at a second down and nine to go. They hand this off to Harris, pushing forward for three up to the 48. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks, allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. And yeah, they're able to stop him short. On third and six, they'll only pick up four. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Young to throw on fourth. He's got his big tight end, Gronkowski. And he is going to have the Lions first down as they manage to convert, and that'll keep the drive alive. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. First and 10, Young on target over the middle of the hill. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because they'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Young's throw pulled in by Gronkowski. Touchdown, Detroit! Rob Gronkowski, 31 yards. And the Lions have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Well, this has been a flawless start for them. They score, they get the stop, and they score again, Charles. Complimentary football at its finest. You just mentioned how they got it done. They scored. The defense got the ball back for them. They score again. That's the way you win ball games. Extra point try now for Patterson. And it's good to make it 14-0. So this drive spans seven plays, and it's all capped off by a Rob Gronkowski touchdown. And Patterson back out there to send this one away. And this will come out to the 25 as Reed opts for the touchback. New England's offense set to go. 
And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few competitions together. Here she ends up. And that make that rock back to the world just a little more animated. They've been playing sound fundamental defense thus far and able to keep this offense from creating a major dent on the scoreboard. Able to force the incompletion, but still waiting for that game-changing play. You feel like it's coming, the first sack, the first turnover. In a sense, they're playing old-school defense right now. The new-school defense is what you said, taking the ball away. be incomplete. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far offensively, or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big time spark somewhere, but it's not going to come on this drive as they have to punt this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And this returnable for Hill. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A very nice job on the run back there. He'll get 23 yards all told. And the Lions will have excellent field position here as they take over first and 10. Now a first down throw for Young. He gets it complete to Harris. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Good, strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. And Young's throw there incomplete. And the defense almost got one there, partner. It could have been his first pick. He's been good so far, but you're right. That was nearly a costly mistake. Sometimes you get a little bit too confident when the game's going along as it has been for him. Open man, that's Gronkowski down the field. Touchdown! Steve Young, his third touchdown pass in this first half. And the Lions will extend their lead here just before halftime. Well, just a sensational start for this offense, Charles. Three drives, three passing touchdowns. Is that like mentioning a perfect game in baseball? We cool to do it here in football, partner. No, I think you can do it here in football. I think perfect game in baseball, that, that's its own category. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Could not imagine a worse start for that secondary, or let's face it, a better one for this offense. No chance they stop passing now the way that it's going. I think they'll continue to press the ball downfield and hopefully reap the same results. Patterson now for the extra point. And it is now 21 to nothing. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it's all capped off by a Rob Gronkowski touchdown. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And a tackle by Baylor Spector. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Lions in the lead, and they're going to get the football first as well as the second half is underway. Fielded right around the eight. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. And the Lions getting set to go on offense to start the third. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. 
great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. First and ten, Young. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, 26 yards. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second-half blowout material. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Najee Harris, 29 yards. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. So another touchdown there, and even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that makes the score 28 to nothing. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And it was Najee Harris who finished it off with a touchdown run. And Patterson back out there to send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. Let's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. Hey, partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. Screenplay. Here's ETN. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Offside. Ethan. They knew they had the free play after the penalty. They get great yardage, so they can decline that penalty. And one of the things we've seen develop more and more in recent years are teams seeing that penalty occur and still taking the big shot downfield and hoping to gain the yardage as we just saw there. They practice it, they work on it, and this time they're successful. And again, it's Rodgers. And he is going to be taken down. And that should be the final play of this third quarter. It's a loss of five there on the sack to bring up second and goal. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. It's Patriot football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter. 
Second down and goal. Rodgers looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. They'll try the right side here with Peyton. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Walter Peyton, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots are finally on the board here in the fourth quarter. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And it's now a 28-7 ball game. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And the Lions are able to cover this one up. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation. And now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But, yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. On the give, this is Harris. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Now a give, it's Jackson. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. That one, a first down pickup of eight. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. Again, it's Jackson as he'll stay on the ground. And he'll be taken down after a pickup of about seven as the clock will stop here for the two-minute warning. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. On second down, this is Harris. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. 43 yards rushing for him now, and he's only carried the ball four times. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the <laughs> and he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. Najee Harris, his second touchdown of the night. And the Lions have opened up a four-touchdown lead here in the fourth. Okay, we need to double-check here with Marvin because he keeps all of our good stats. But what I've got is five drives, five touchdowns, and they've got a nice, healthy lead. Well, after the first drive, we thought things might be clicking. They're really clicking at this point. They're clicking about as much as they can click. And right I just now, said click a lot. Yes, you did, but that's okay because the guy who's coordinating the defense, trying to slow them down, Good luck. he's going to have hair that looks like mine very soon. Not much of it. And Patterson back out there to send this one away. Reed going to bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. On first and 10, here's Rodgers. They'll try and set up the screen to ETN. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Rodgers. And he is caught. It's Calvin Johnson. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 
Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. Now Rodgers, and his throw is incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. Now Rodgers got to have this one. Airing it out deep for Smith. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Lions will take over. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they've got to be feeling very comfortable and confident here with this lead in the football here in the fourth quarter, Charles. And I don't think that they need to score again, but it seems like this offense is just getting better as the game goes on. They've scored on their last two drives. Certainly feels like a chance for them to continue to have some fun out there, doesn't it? Game's already decided, as you noted. So they can continue to play loose, break out some other concepts, maybe run a few trick plays, get other people involved. Heck, even go deep on one of these first snaps just because they can. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Young here to throw. Open man downfield is Hill. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. And certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up the secondary. A clinic on how to attack the defense and take them out of the game. Extra point try now for Patterson. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. The long touchdown pass gets them six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. And Patterson back out there to send this one away. Reed going to bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Rodgers now on first down. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Throwing now is Rodgers. He's got Smith here. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game. No turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger...